Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial on Visual C++ Zero Com port. In this video, we can go a little bit faster than last time. We can start adding more uh, features on this uh, on this window uh, form application. So uh, we can add uh, just continue by adding another combo box here, and this one is for our ball rate selection. And we need to change the uh, style also, the drop down style to uh, see uh, drop down into a list. Okay. Now uh, things get very confusing if you uh, don't have labels for these two. So we need to add labels next to them. So we're going to identify them more easily. So go down to text and we change this one to ball rate. Right? And this one is gonna be the com ports. Uh, text. Alright. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay, good. So we need to define our ball rates. So go down here and it go hit on the collection. And I'm just going to enter a couple values here. And five. these are two most common ones. All right. So let's go ahead and add two more buttons. One to open the zero port and one to close it. So just uh, change the text to uh, init port, and this one we're going to change to uh, close port, and we should make this just a little bit bigger. All right. That's decent size. So if you want to change the font, you can do that too. But we can do it later. Um, let's not do that now. So uh, I'm going to add a couple of text blocks here. Uh, I'm going to do, let's see, should we do rich text box or uh, just a text box here? Let me check. All right. So in the um, the example I, I made, I just used the text box. So we just, we just stick with that. All right. So here's the text box one. We use this here, and another one here. All right, so you can also add default text on these text box, so uh, just make things easier for the user. So like for the first one, you can say uh, receive here. This is for our, uh, yep, this is the receiver side, and this one is where the user enter a message to be sent. Enter here. All right. So that's our receiver. Here's our transmitter, if you will. And we want to edit this to where the user cannot edit this thing anymore. Uh, read only true. See. So this one is only uh, so user cannot click on and start typing typing things and changing. So that's good. And then we add two more buttons here. One, two. First button is for send. Okay. Send. And this button is to uh, read. This one won't be instantaneous. 
like the uh, other tutorial I made. Uh, okay, but that should be no big deal here. And I'm going to add a status box here. I'm going to use a uh, progress bar. And put a label here. I'm going to label it uh, port status. At this point, you probably uh, want to change, you know, the size or whatever. Make your final adjustment before you start uh, putting the, uh, the software side of things. Okay, I'm gonna change this, uh, these thing to make it bold because I'm kind of picky. All right, make it bold, make it easier. To, uh, this one bold too. How about that? Cool, cool. Uh, how about these two? All right, this one and this one. All right, looking good. So let me end this video for now, and in the last video, we start adding the software. Thanks for watching.